Alrighty, morning everyone! So, in this beautiful video, on this beautiful channel, on another somewhat beautiful day, it's raining, but, you know, whatever, that, that doesn't really matter now, we are scrapping some more motors! These are some interesting motors, because these are technically still new motors. These were kind of like production surplus or like product returns from bigger customers or whatever um, that this company had to scrap, because they wouldn't like, I don't know, wouldn't be able to sell them on, I guess, whatever. Um, I don't really care. My customer just said to me that they are basically still new. They don't look like new anymore, because they've been laying around in a container, obviously. But uh, I don't think that they have really ever been running for a very long time which is kind of unfortunate, but we'll see what is in them now. And I think that's actually going to be interesting because it's going to be a lot of cast aluminum and hopefully a copper stator might be aluminum, we'll see. But uh, I think we're going to make some decent money. And I also think it's going to be fun because we've got a gearbox over there that we have to take apart and stuff like that. And so I think we're going to have an interesting time, see what's inside them, see how much money we can make, most importantly, obviously. And then, um, yeah, I think that's going to be really fun. And... This thing has a lot of plastic on it. That's kind of sort of a bummer, but I think that's not too bad. We're just going to throw that away. But uh, I think we might be able to make some decent amount of money, but that depends on the stator. If the stator is aluminum, then we basically wasted all of our money because I pretty much pay aluminum price for these motors and so everything that's aluminum there i kind of break even on and then we've got steel which i lose money obviously and then we've got the copper which i gain some money and so it kind of averages out and if we've got an aluminum stator that's really bad <laughs> but um yeah we're gonna make something happen i guess and i'm just gonna start by taking off all the screws that i can possibly see there are a couple of nut drivers here um, and a bigger one here i don't really know what that is hopefully there's no transmission fluid in there or whatever uh, or like gearbox fluid whatever you might want to call that and then yeah we'll see how much stuff is in there we'll obviously weigh it up in the end and see how much money we made so i would say let's get started Okay, so we are scrapping that initial plan. Scrapping, you get it? Because that's that's what we're doing. That I'm sorry, I'm gonna stop. But I don't want to do these. Why do I not want to do these? Well, because I didn't think about the fact that a gearbox usually has some kind of fluid in it. In this case, this fluid is almost solid in there because it's very cold here. It's about minus two, minus three degrees Celsius, and this stuff is apparently not made for that temperature, so it doesn't want to go out of that. And I sat here for like 15 minutes letting that stuff drain, um, and then I decided to just put it back and screw it back together and just sell it as a motor, because you know what? I'm not sitting here for an hour waiting for that to drain. Uh, I've got better stuff to do. Matter of fact, probably most of you do. So... 
yeah, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend doing that. So yeah, that's one mistake made. And for, fortunately, I have got some other motors. And so we are going to scrap those and let's hope that they work out a bit better. I don't really think it's possible that they could work any worse, but, uh, well, let's not jinx it and just get on with it. So these two pretty boys are the next kind kind of motors that we are gonna try. Let's hope that they work out a bit better for us. Let's also hope that they've got a good some good amount of copper in it and yeah, stuff like that. So I guess we're just gonna go ahead, try those and hope that they are a little bit better than the last ones. So yeah, let's hope for the best. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, that... Uh, yeah... I, I can't I can't put my nut driver in there. For some reason, someone designed it in a way that normal nut drivers don't fit in there. So that's nice. So what we now need to do is we're gonna crack these little pieces of aluminum around every bolt, then we'll unscrew the bolt, and then we'll do all the other kind of funny stuff. Yeah, so let's do that. Let's go to the vice. So, I just decided to unscrew these screws with a hammer. You might ask yourself, well, but a hammer is not a tool to unscrew things. It is! If you're desperate enough, anything is a tool to unscrew stuff with. So, yeah, whatever, we did that. We've got all the steel over there that we've got by now, and then we've got the aluminum over here, and we've got a little copper stator over here. At least it's copper, okay? It's at least something. So, we're gonna scrap that down later, but we're gonna do the second uh, motor first, so that we can have both stators and strip them down at the same time. I think that's very better than strip, stripping one, then doing the other motor, then coming back and stripping the other stator. I think it's better to do it this way, so yeah, we're gonna do it this way and hope that nothing else goes wrong. So yeah, here we go. So, that's the other one done. That was way easier. I don't know why they can't all be like that. But, uh, yeah, we've got this one apart. There's a little motor core. There are the two pieces of aluminum. I'm just gonna leave this... this... Uh how you call that? Cap capacitor? There we go. I'm gonna leave that on there because my yacht really doesn't care. It's made out of aluminum. There's a lot of aluminum in there, so yeah, not gonna take that off. But uh, yeah, we've got the nice copper stator. At least both stators were actually copper. That's awesome. Uh, you don't really find aluminum stators that often. You come across them every now and then. But usually these small motors don't really have aluminum stators. Aluminum stators aren't very good. You know, they, they burn out very quickly and they are just not very very quality stuff, so people are using them less and less as time goes on. I think there was a time where they were actually used quite regularly, but, you know, it's not today because they just, they're just not as good, so... Yeah, that's that. But uh, we've got two copper stators, we're gonna scrap those down now, and in the end we'll obviously weigh up all the stuff that we've got, and yeah. And if you ask yourself why I didn't use uh, a nut driver for these, because these aren't nut driver thingies, these are these thingies. Very annoying stuff that you come across every now and then. I don't know why anyone would use that, but yeah, I guess that's the thing. 
So all that's now left to do is make some very loud, very obnoxious noise for a very long time, because neighbors love that. Always remember that. Your neighbors absolutely love it when there's some extremely loud noise going on for hours. So if you really want your neighbors happy, do that. So we're gonna do that now and uh, see how much copper we can actually get out of those staters. So yeah, I guess. Here we go. Alrighty, so let's do the way up. Let's see how much money we did not make. And uh, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna warn you, the copper percentage on these are, is really bad. So I would reckon maybe 10 to 15 percent maximum. It's not gonna be more than that. So yeah, keep that in mind if you're buying this kind of stuff. It's not like necessarily worth it. It kind of depends on what you pay for it. If you get it for free, yeah, totally. That's really, really good. If you get it for free, you're gonna make a lot of money. Uh, I don't. So, yeah. <laughs> we are probably gonna not make a lot of money here. But it was fun, I think. And so... Oh. Yeah, well, I, I, I kind of remembered this other situation with the other motors now. So, no, no, I don't think it was very much fun. But... But, yeah. Nah, let's just say it was fun. Let's weigh it up now. See how much money we made. And then we'll we'll also check the steel and the other kind of stuff. So, yeah, let's, let's put the bucket down here. This way you can hopefully see what it reads. Yeah, reads one kilo. So the bucket weighs approximately 500 grams. That means we've got 500 grams of copper in there. Yeah, that's all right. You know, it's not it's not great, but it's alright. I would say I'm I'm pretty happy with that. So yeah, five hundred grams of copper. That's approximately one pound. That's like maybe six um, six bucks. Yeah, three bucks. It's okay. It could be worse, but uh, yeah, that's our nice copper that we've got. So we'll um, yeah we'll put that uh, somewhere over here for now, and then we'll weigh the steel and see how much that is, and then we'll check the percentage, I guess. So here we go. So in here is now the steel and the aluminum because we won't get a reading on the aluminum because it's way less than like 500 grams and this scale only reads in half kilo increments. So yeah, that's that's a nice thing, right? But I can't I can't take my new scale that you saw in my couple of other videos uh, to my other place because well it would get damaged on the way here. So I really don't want that. And so we're gonna have to deal with this thing. It works pretty well, but you know it's not very great for small quantities of stuff. So let's check. What we've got here, you have to kind of put it here so that you can actually see it, like that. Okay, so we've got 3.5 kilos, no, 4 kilos, okay. So we've got 3.5 kilos of scrap and then another like 500 grams for the bucket. So, in total, we've got 4 kilos of... Um, stuff basically of stuff that's actually worth something and I'm kind of messing with the scale right here I don't know why I'm doing that but yeah so we've got four kilos of stuff that's actually worth something that is 
it's not great, but it's also like not terrible. We've got obviously the 500 grams of uh, copper and that would come out to like, I think 12.5% of copper because obviously one fourth would be 25% and we've got half of one fourth, so one eighth. And uh, that would be approximately 12.5% copper. That's actually all right. It's like really that center of the average copper yield you're gonna get out of those motors they are always between like 10 and 15 percent one of them was probably 15 the other one was probably 10 and so yeah that's why we got 12.5 uh, we've got some steel we've got some aluminum but as i said it's not really worth reading that and uh, that might still be worth like i don't know maybe one maybe a dollar yeah let's just say a dollar so this stuff is made is worth about four bucks what i paid for it was i think i paid a little bit less for this stuff than you'd usually pay i think i paid about 50 cents a kilo so that means we've paid like two bucks so we doubled our money that's actually not too bad but well you obviously have to take into consideration that it takes time to take these apart and it took me like i think 10 minutes 15 minutes something like that we are not going to calculate the time that i lost by draining the weird transmission fluid from this other one but um yeah i think that's that's all right i made a little bit of money and actually doubled it so that's good i guess <laughs> so yeah I think that's all right, and I hope you found it interesting in some way. I hope you maybe learned something new. If you've got any ideas what I should scrap as well, uh, you can write that in the comments below. Also, if you've got any sort of questions whatsoever, write in the comments below. I'd be very happy to answer those. As always, I'd be also very happy if you could rate the video with like a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you might want to do, and also subscribe to the channel if you if you want to. That's free. You don't have to, but I, I would really like that. I would really be happy about that. If you want to make me happy, then subscribe to the channel. If you don't, well, 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 yeah, but yeah. Anyways, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you tune back in next time when we scrap something else interesting. And then see you next time and have a great week.